out of breath. I'm 32 weeks pregnant. You know how it is. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasenia and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my baby registry. Uh, this is a first time mom edition, so please, by all means, you know it's going to be probably filled with a bunch of things you don't really need but as a first time mom you want to have you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm just gonna let you in on what i think i need what i want and all that good stuff i'm gonna be doing like a follow along baby registry with me here on the side so the registry that i decided to fit all my things on was the amazon baby registry and they actually talk about it a little more on the free baby stuff video i made recently but i decided to go with this uh specific registry because um, I just thought it was easy. It's you can add things from any website. It's universal um, If you just get the extension on the desktop, I just thought it would be easier overall um, And most people I know have the Amazon account and prime So I just thought like why not just put everything on there and something I do like from the Amazon baby registry is that it has uh, Categories and a checklist so that way if you think you're missing something you can always go back and add it later so here I'll just go to checklist and also, if I'm out of breath, I'm 32 weeks pregnant. You know how it is. So, <sighs> so in the checklist, um, you can see like on the strollers and car seats, I already have a stroller. It's actually not on the baby registry because I bought it um, separately. It was a gift from my grandma when she came to visit me. So she bought it separately and I don't have it on here. But I checked it off anyway, so I know um, what I, I need and what I don't need. So then with that being said, we're just going to go into my registry. And I just want to add that the registry I created, I use it kind of as a baseline for uh, my husband and I, so we know what to buy. And if people bought off the list, that's great. But at least we have something to go off of things we want to buy, even if we don't receive. So by no means uh, did we expect to receive everything. Not at all. We just, <laughs> we put it out there. And people did buy a lot more than we expected, actually. So... Uh, we're very thankful for that and we plan to buy little by little all things are missing uh, in the next couple weeks so back to my registry here you can see strollers and car seats um, the first item is on there is definitely a want not a need by any means it's the it's like a little stroller caddy and I think this one is just super cute um, stylish and if you can combine having a baby and still being stylish that's where I want to be you know <laughs> also I have these baby car mirror and it's actually like a camera and i thought this was really cool because i know they have the mirrors that you can attach to the back and you can see a baby and i know that works just fine and it's much cheaper but i really like this alternative because um it has a night vision camera so you can see the baby a lot better and with that being said i feel like i'm as a first time mom I'm, i feel like i'm going to be constantly checking the mirror and that's going to be a distraction from driving so if i have just this video camera of him um on the dashboard i know i can just look at him when i'm on a red light or something he's safe he's good and i can just have peace of mind next i'm not sure why this arm and hammer puck is here <laughs> uh, these are just refillable uh cartridges for the diaper pail that i have on my list that i'll talk about later but they're just basically refills the last in the car seat and stroller uh, section is the chico key fit car seat base and this is because i got the chico um travel system the stroller the car seat and the base however since my husband and i have two different cars and we're both going to be taking baby places um we just need another base so that's why we have another one added on there so for nursery and furniture we got the dream on me carly plus bassinet and i know there's a bunch of really high rated bassinets like the halo and the snoomy which i was never gonna get because of the price <laughs> but the reason I got this specific one is because I have two cats and my biggest worry has been my cats suffocating my baby because they're very lovable cats. By all means, they're really good, but they like to cuddle and I just don't want to be sleeping and they cuddle with the baby and then something happens, you know? So um, I read really good reviews. I saw pictures of cats laying on the little net and it wasn't falling apart. So I was like, that's the one I need to get. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so next is the nursery, the nursery bedding and essentials. And I got this Burt's Bees um, basically wearable blanket because it does get cold here in December and that's when babies do December 2nd. So I know um, it's definitely gonna be cold in the first couple months of her life. And 
blankets are not safe so i just want her to be warm and that's why i got her this wearable blanket the next two items are just these um cute bed sheet designs and the reason i got these little animal prints is because um i'm planning on her nursery being a little jungle safari but like boho mix themed <laughs> nursery that's why i got the little animal prints and i thought it was just really cute so next is this portable white noise machine and i'm still undecided if i want to get the hush machine i think it's called the white noise machine that you usually put in the baby's room and um, the baby sleep with but i figured having a portable one i can test it out test it in her bedroom see how she sleeps with it and we can take it on the go if it really does work um so if we go on car trips or wherever we go really um we can go test it out there so next in the feeding category uh this is a hook on chair and i know baby's not gonna be using it anytime soon at all that's why i kind of just have left it there for later um i haven't even put a high chair on this registry yet <laughs> so i just really like this concept of the baby eating on the table with us and being a part of like the family and just I, I don't know getting used to that so that's why i have that on there and i thought it was uh, really nice then it's this bottle cleaning brush set and i just got this little cacti set because it's so cute and like i said i like cute things <laughs> if it's cute and you can you know you can put it away on your kitchen and it won't look um messy or like bottle cleaners you know so next i put these uh, silicone baby bibs and my mom and my grandma they got me so many baby bibs and clothes in general <laughs> got me the cloth kind of baby bibs and those are good but i know it's gonna be a lot of washing so that's why i got silicone baby bibs and i actually have them right here so <laughs> i got this really cute design there's like little space astronauts and then this is little lemons i thought it was really cute and I, i've seen it everywhere it's super beneficial you know you can just wash it off swipe it off and it's ready for the next feeding the next two items are the baby bottle steam sterilizer and a bottle warmer and the reason i got these is because while i do plan on breastfeeding baby as long as possible i only have a 12 week maternity leave which means i do have to go back to work within three months of her being born so realistically i'm gonna have to use baby bottles this way i can make sure all her bottles are super clean sterilized and i just want to stop the bottle warmer um i know you can just warm it up on your own but i can make life easy while i work and husband also works and goes to school then i'm just gonna go ahead and try it so up next is the nursing category and i i saw someone put these reusable nursing pads and i thought it was great because i've heard that you're gonna you might leak a lot or not it just depends on the woman and you don't want to have to be buying so many of the disposable ones the reusable ones are better for you for money saving and for the environment so that's why i want to get these so that way if they get dirty i can just pop them in the washer dryer and then use them again and i got the haka because i've read so many raging reviews of how it's awesome and i am going to get a breast pump from my insurance i think the next time i go to the doctor's appointment but i got this one um just in case i need a quick manual pump you know you just never know when you're gonna use it so for diapering i put a bunch of <laughs> baby boxes um here as you can see i got huggies just because i've heard it's a really good brand my mom says she used it with me and that's the only brand she used with me i know babies can be picky so uh i do have some other brands from samples i bought so i'm going to be trying those out i hope she's not picky and the huggies works just fine so i the reason i have so many different boxes on here is because i bought different sizes i've heard to definitely not get a lot of newborn sizes and i have two boxes plus so a few samples and another box my friend gave me so like three boxes total and i know they grow out of the newborn diapers so fast and that's why i i split it into different sizes so i have like a size three a size one a size two and that's about it so that way i can have for the next few months and maybe even year and, I, and that way i don't get stuck with diapers that she doesn't fit into i did also put a big box of baby wipes because i know baby wipes are essential and you're gonna need it for every diaper change and spill ups cleanups and all that good stuff so i definitely put a bunch of baby wipes on there <laughs> uh so next is this baby diaper caddy organizer 
And because I live in a two-story townhome right now, um, I think it'd be really nice to have this little caddy filled up with essentials downstairs so we don't have to be going upstairs every time to the nursery uh, if we need to change your diaper or whatever it may be, like a little spill up. Um, so that's why I got this one. I thought it, was just, I thought it was just really cute. So the next two items, which should have included the pucks you saw earlier in the stroller section, uh, is basically the diaper pail. And I went with the munchkin. Um, I went back and forth so many times with the diaper genie, the munchkin, and there were a couple of others, but I feel like this one had the best reviews in regards to containing the smell which is my number one concern really. I don't want to have a smelly baby room upstairs or anywhere. I, I hate a smelly house, so especially with my pregnancy, enhanced smells, I, I don't want <laughs> any bad smelling baby poop. So um, that's why I went with the munchkin. And then above that is the munchkin um, snaps, which is like the little garbage cans or garbage bags that go with it. And then the cartridge you saw earlier, that's to contain the smell in there so it doesn't go everywhere. So in this other category, um, I put this Halo bassinet fitted sheet because for the bassinet that I got earlier, the Dream On Me, I was reading a lot of reviews that the sheets didn't fit properly. However, I read a couple reviews that said this sheet did fit. So I'm probably going to end up getting this one um, really soon so I can test it out on the bassinet. I also added a baby memory book because I realized I've been really bad about taking pictures and keepsakes of my whole journey. <laughs> so I definitely want to have a baby book for sure with all her first milestones, pictures. Um, I'll probably create a separate little scrapbook for all the pictures I do have of my pregnancy journey, of my maternity photo shoot that I hope to take soon, and all that good stuff. So that's why I have the baby book. And then I got these... Um, baby nursery closet dividers and then again i got this one in like the little animal theme because i want her to be like a little safari um themed nursery so i thought the organizers would be really good for the closet so that way um since she has so much clothes um the grandmas went overboard <laughs> at least she can have it divided by zero three months zero six and so on so that way i have a visual of what would fit her and what wouldn't. So next are the baby nail clippers. And I do have a set of nail clippers my grandma gave me, but they're the ones that you have to go clip it yourself. This one is like the little machine, which I've read is a lot, um, it has really good reviews, especially for babies because babies move around a lot and you just don't wanna clip their skin. And that's, that's the last thing I wanna do or any mom wants to do. <laughs> so I think this is a, something I'm definitely gonna get for sure. So the next are just um, some more bassinet sheets. I think the other ones had better reviews, so I might just take this one off, or I might just buy it because um, you can never have too many sheets. I think like baby's gonna probably get it dirty anyway, so um, I'll see how these fit as well. And up next is some baby bottle dish soap liquid thing, and I didn't even think about this, but I didn't I, I didn't even think about having a different dish soap. For baby bottles and i feel like it makes sense it would have to be a lot gentle gentler than <laughs> what we use for us as adults so i got a pack just in case uh and i'll be washing her bottles and everything that goes into her mouth basically with this instead of our dish soap so the next item you can't really see it it's the stowaway diaper bag and the reason it doesn't have a picture is because it's from the bye bye baby website and this is a baby bag for my husband if you saw um my first video ever it was a review of the hot brand diaper bag and it's it's beautiful i can't wait to use it uh, but that's that's mine and it's definitely girly so he's not gonna be <laughs> wanting to use that bag at all so he got this one so the next item i feel like this should have been categorized into like a a bathing section but it's the angel care baby bath support and there are so many bath things for the baby and I didn't know which one to go with. I've heard so many of the ones that have the little attachable and detachable seat thing that people didn't like it or the kids weren't sitting upright. I don't know. So I just went with this one, which was, was pretty simple. Um, you just lay baby on there. I mean, as they grow, she'll, she'll grow out of it and we'll get her a bigger one where she can sit up later. But I think this is perfect for the time being, for the first few months anyway. So 
that's why I went with this one. Up next is the Graco Pack and Play Travel Dome. And I got this play pin set because it has, um, I like that it has the little bassinet thing on it. It has um, like a little changing area on it. And then you, of course you can take that off and baby can play on it when they're a little older. And again, I got this because since I live in a two story townhome, um, I'm gonna be downstairs a lot of times. So I want her to be able to have her little area down there. I'm not gonna buy just a separate bassinet or crib for down there. And I thought that this is something that she could grow with, you know? When she gets older, she's gonna be playing there as I do dishes or cook, whatever it may be. So that's why I got this one. Okay, so my camera turned off and I charged it for like five, 10 minutes. So I don't know how much battery it has and it's not letting me know. So I'm gonna try to speed up this video. <laughs> so uh, the next thing that I have on here is the portable fort. It's another basically mosquito net cover thing. And I got this before I decided on the baby bassinet that I got. So I feel, and someone actually got it for us already. So I think I can still make a good use of this um, either in the playpen or even on the floor. I don't know, I'll find some good use for it for sure. And I will see if it's uh, sturdy enough. Okay, so this next item is definitely for me, postpartum. <laughs> So this is the Freedom Mom Postmortem Recovery Kit. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've heard of this product a million times, but I do plan on trying to give a natural birth. So this postpartum kit, I'm gonna buy it just in case. And even if I end up having a C-section for whatever reason, at least I'll be prepared. And I like that it brings the, the ice pack, the little mesh underwear, which I'll probably bring some extra on my own anyway, but I like, just having the kit, it makes me feel ready to go, you know? <laughs> and uh, I think this one is the one that also includes the Perry bottle um, that everybody talks about that it's it's great because it has a little L shape, so it's easier um, to get the water in the area to clean yourself. So that's why I went with the postpartum kit. Uh, I also put on my list the black and white little infant um, toy set. And the reason I got black and white is because as uh, a lot of you may know, Baby doesn't really develop their vision until a couple weeks or months into uh, their life. <laughs> so uh, they like really bold colors. So that's why I got a black and white one. So it can be really entertaining for her. And down the list, I think um, it's here somewhere. I also got a color for one. So she has the best of both worlds. Black and white and then one full of colors. I know a lot of people are gonna say that you don't need this at all and it's expensive, but I decided to go with the Snuggle Me Organic Baby Lounger and I thought it was a more reasonable price than the Doc Top for sure. And the reason I'm still gonna get this is because if she's downstairs or just roaming around the house with us, basically anywhere else that's not the baby room or our room, um, I wanna be able to like lay her down. And I know you're not supposed to put the baby to sleep on there, I'm aware, um, but just somewhere where she can hang and it's comfortable for her and of course being supervised always. So this one had really good reviews and I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. The next item is actually uh, just for me for the nursery. It's this little white table stand. I thought it was cute and will match the aesthetic of the room with the boho part of it. <laughs> and it's basically like a little nightstand that I'm gonna put next to the gliding uh, chair, which I forgot to mention. It's not on the list, but I do plan to buy sometime soon. But anyway, um, I got this nightstand table because I want to be able to, when I'm breastfeeding, I can just have a little table to put stuff on. I'm sure it's going to come in handy, whether it's my phone or charger or the breast bottle milk thing. I don't know. I just know I'm going to use it, okay? <laughs> also, here's the, bat the bathing section. So I'm not sure why they didn't put the little shower thing there earlier. But anyway, I got some Gentle Wash uh, Baby Shampoo from Avino. I know Avino is a really good brand uh, overall, so that's why I just went with this one. And for health and baby care, I got, I got the Frida Baby version, um, which is the nasal aspirator. And I do have the other one where you just like pump out the boogers, but I've read that a lot of moms love and praise this one. So that's why I, got, I went with this one. So for activity and gear. I decided to go with this Graco Swing and Bouncer and I kept going back and forth with the Mamaru. It looked great, it looked like it was awesome, but I, I, 
tired. I would read so many reviews where moms just said it wasn't worth it. And again, babies are different. So what your baby may love, another one may not. And for the price point, I just didn't feel like it was worth gambling with. I thought this one was a pretty good price for 130 bucks. It swings, it does everything a baby swinger is supposed to do. So something else that turned me off about the Mamaru is that, you know the little toy um, things that dangle on the top so the baby's entertained? It didn't move in the Mamaru. And for the price point, I feel like it should. And that's why this one, the Great Goat, is so much cheaper. And, you know, it swings, it does all that good stuff. And that little, um, those little ornaments move and entertain the baby. So I just thought this one was would be a lot better, honestly. So up next is this Fisher Price Reinforced Jumperoo, and I know the baby's not gonna use this anytime on the early days. It's gonna be when she's a little older in the next few weeks slash months. But I got it because um, I know it's really entertaining for them. It's like fun, and I got this really colorful one because I don't know when I think baby stuff, I think colors and bold and just entertainment. That's why I decided to go with this random crab themed jumperoo. <laughs> I also decided to go with the Boppy baby carrier and I read that this one had like a lot of good reviews and it's really easy to put on. It's really comfortable for the mom as well or dad whoever, who's ever carrying the baby and I thought it was a really good price point as well. So I do want to try it out and I'm not sure if she's going to outgrow this very quickly. Um, but I decided I'll just give it a shot since I'll be home for the first three months anyway and I can use it to move her around with me while I go do things, clean here and there. Oh, this is actually the other play gym I was talking about, the Skip Hop Baby Gym. And um, I, I thought it had more colors, but I mean, it's gray, it still has some colors, which um, I know she'll find entertaining, but I just thought it was uh, very cute and it looks comfortable for her. so. I ended up getting this one as well and uh, one of the grandparents also got it already so thank you so up next are the toys and books section and um, I can see my batteries dying so I have to hurry up um, I got this black and white tummy time little book which I think it crinkles and you know any obviously anything that's bold and makes noise is gonna be entertaining for the babies so that's why I went with this one um, baby sees first colors again black and white but it has red, which I also heard is a very good, um, bold color they love to see. But it has other colors in there as well. And I got this baby toy spiral plush thing. So that way I can hang it on her car seat. So that way she can play with it. It makes um, some noise and music. And again, I got it in black and white. So she can be entertained. I got her these little maracas because, again, noise equals fun for babies. So she can shake it up all she wants when she <laughs> gets older. Um, and then the next two books are just these little black and white again. I'm going to be reading to her other books as well, but I think this is a very good start. And it's something that if I put in front of her while I'm doing other stuff, she can look at and be entertained. So my camera did end up turning off again and I charged it for an extra five minutes. So with that being said, <laughs> that was everything on my baby registry list. Uh, please let me know if you think I'm missing anything or if you um, think there's anything that you thought was essential or just convenient, just let me know in the comments below. And that is everything I have for today, so I will see you next week.